Previously on Mega Co-op Garden from Nothing to a Hyperion, we introduced all the members of our Mega Co-op and we laid out the rules for this series where we're grinding all the way from nothing to a scrolled Hyperion only using the garden. Then we planted our first plot and started upgrading. By the end of week one, we had our first Fermento set, infinite farms, and a ton of great farming tools. It's your boy Chips Hoy and welcome back everybody to episode number three of Garden from Nothing to a Hyperion. If you haven't seen the previous two episodes, be sure to check them out because this is hopefully going to be the final one. We've gotten almost everything prepared. We just need a few more upgrades and then we'll be able to work, grind, and farm our way to that two and a half billion coin scrolled Hyperion. Of course, right after we built that mega farm at the end of the last episode, the Hypixel admins came in and totally removed teleport pads from the garden. So yeah, we're going to have to rebuild. On another note, I was gone over the last couple days, so I don't really know what to expect when I come back. But this really shouldn't be too bad for us, so let's just go ahead and warp back to the garden and check out what's going on. Look at that, look at that. Cocoa beans, cactus, potato, sugarcane, netherwort, we, we got everything. I obviously hope to see this come back on, and I sure am glad it's, it's popping up. The lads went crazy as expected, but I do see that the farms have not been upgraded yet, so we'll have to do that ourselves. There's also Madam Eleanor, a beautiful visitor who needs 16 golden carrots. Might as well head back to the hub to make that purchase. Too many orders? Oh, wow. They went crazy, crazy. We have almost 500 million coins to claim. Looks like there's a little bit of everything in here. Condensed fermento, 100 plus million baked potatoes, cookies, golden carrots, almost 200 million mutant netherwort. Shout out, Dracoon. Let's go ahead and click through it. I mean, we've been recording for like five minutes, less than that, and we're up to 670 mil. Then there's another 90 mil in the bank. That's an easy 750 mil plus, and the video has just begun. Anyway, we traded with Eleanor, and now it's time to redo the farms. As always, we're going to need to make some large buy orders to fill our sacks, and then we can actually just repaste the old farms. These are the farms that we built at the end of episode one, and luckily we haven't deleted that preset. It'll only be about five to six crops. And they won't be the best farms, but we'll make them work. We did use them to get most of the 750 mil and on our setups. So I'm sure it'll be able to carry us the rest of the way. At this point, I guess what we lost is the time building the mega farm because there we go. It's all pasted back in. We've got infinite netherwort, carrot, potatoes, wheat, cocoa beans, and sugarcane here. Of course, we'll have to quickly just fix up these edges, but that only takes a few seconds. Something we can actually do is leave the bottom open here. That allows us to then set our spawn at the top on the far side, then walk through the farm, fall into the void, and respawn at the beginning. It's just like a slower version of a teleport pad. So then although there's a lot of downfall from the removal of these TP pads, there is also a big upside, which is that the Hyperion, the scrolled 2.5 billion coin Hyperion that we're after, may potentially drop in price. On recent checks, the lowest hype is only 2.3 bill, so already a couple hundred mil saved. Anyway, enough with the logistics. We have a lot to do to get this two bill and to finish off this challenge. So let's head back to the island, grab a beautiful set, our handy dandy carrot hoe, a mushroom cow and a personal compactor then just back to the garden and into the farms we go just taking a hot minute here to organize my inventory and lotsy tells me he has got money and wow like there's a reason he's the number one farmer so i've been doing a decent bit of farming you know slicing through these carrots we passed carrot 26 milestone and already are on the way to carrot 27 as we just get back used to this older farm i've also been dealing with visitors we don't really need any garden xp so really turning away a lot of these uncommons but filling the rares and legendaries of course and I get excited anytime a librarian comes. You all know that thing can drop dedication four, which goes for crazy amounts. We've seen him 31 times and he hasn't given it yet. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's in the books for us soon. Of course, hit that like button to increase those chances. But before I jump back into the farm, I think there are some final purchases we can make just to increase our farming fortune a tiny bit more. One of those is going to be a crappie talisman. I don't think as much as a fermento artifact is really worth it. But since I am farming carrots, I will grab this one for an extra 10 farming fortune. The next way I think I can increase my farming fortune is by getting some gold medals. By no means do I think I can get all the gold medals, but I do think there are a couple that are attainable, starting with mushroom. So let's paste a quick mushroom farm, then jump in for maybe a gold. Oh baby, let's go. Glad we could get that. And the second one I'm thinking about is maybe pumpkin. Oh no, dude. Pumpkin might not be possible. We're sitting about 10k under going into the last minute. 
I'll definitely give it a second chance, but I don't know. Yep, of course, another silver in the books. Another silver, man. 220k. 220k pumpkins, and it's not enough? All right, all right, Jacob. I think I'm tapping out. So many contests I've taken part of. Here's our gold for mushroom, of course, which was an easy grab. But then here are all our pumpkin attempts. I was able to get 220k pumpkins, and the cutoff for gold was always just above that. But hey, 29, almost 30 contests. We've got a lot of rewards here to claim, so let's go ahead and click through those. All those rewards will add up to a lot of money. Then we just turn and talk to Anita to claim, unfortunately, only one farming level. But there we go, cap increased, we're up to farming level 52. I just traded away one gold and I've got 17 silver and 18 bronze left. So I think it might be best to actually trade up those medals. So we'll just quickly convert them all to tickets. Money, 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 you know, whatever we gotta do. Those tickets will also go for a quite decent price. We're looking at over 15 mil. Then we combine the books a little bit so that they go for a little bit more money. So let's throw those up as well. Now I could have gone ahead and spent a little more on the pumpkin setup to get that gold medal. But guys, a scrolled Hyperion is the name of the game. And so we need to keep getting money and progress towards that. I'm sure you've already noticed that our purse is up to almost 1.5 bill. But that's because as we kept trying those contests, everybody else kept farming and giving me money. Like here was a quick clip where Lotzi gave me some money. I guess by some, I mean a beautiful 240 mil. And then on top of that, there's even more in the bazaar. Right now we've got 139 mil to claim. A lot of this being in baked potatoes from Puffin. Then there's the money that I went ahead and farmed up. So in my enchanted agronomy sack, we've got 1.2 thousand enchanted golden carrots. These go for a pretty high price tag. So that's going to be a whopping 125 mil right there. Of course, as we farm, we're also going to be getting some red and brown mushrooms, so we'll sell those as well. Back on the garden, we can make some quick trades. There's Jerry, and there's Madam Eleanor happy. This will put our copper up to almost 6,000, a pretty hefty sum. Heading into the shop here, I think advanced gardening hose are actually the best for straight copper to coin transferring. But with 6k copper, I kind of want it to move a little quicker than that, so I'll just go ahead and buy a couple green thumb books. Then I'm thinking the rest into dedication books. Back in the garden, we haven't claimed the composter in a while. We've got 500 plus sitting for us. So let's throw that in the bazaar as well. And wow, then we can throw this all in the bazaar together and it'll be about like 40 mil more. We've got 50 mil to claim from the bank here, which will put us up to 1.67 bill right now. And a lot of that stuff, we're even still waiting to claim. This is far more than enough to buy a normal plain Hyperion, but the goal of this series is to fully scrolled hype. Those are still about 2.3 bill. So we do have a decent bit to go. Six or 700 mil still, unfortunate, unfortunate. But hey, back to the garden and back to the carrot grind. Woohoo, so excited. As time has been passing though, I feel like I haven't really been updating you on this carrot progress. Not only do we pass a counter of 50 mil, but we're past 70 and well on our way to 75 million carrots. Also 87% of the way to our next milestone, carrot 27. It's pretty good, over 90% here now to carrot 27. And here we are grabbing a silver in this contest, but more importantly, grabbing that next carrot milestone in three, two, one, come on give it to me here we go aha there it is there it is carrot what is that 28 so i think i was actually saying the wrong milestone previously but yeah carrot 28 75 million collected while i was grabbing that milestone i realized that i'm dropping crappies and i haven't been selling them so let's go ahead and hit the hub Crappies now go into agronomy sacks, so we have 866 here to sell, along with 17 quick squash. So that's got to be pretty decent, 21.4 million coins. I will definitely take that. I also have a bunch of enchanted pumpkins here that I grinded for those contests. And then if we grab those enchanted golden carrots from that milestone, it'll be another 23 million coins. And so I think when everything sells in the bazaar here, we should be up to 2 billion coins. Then there's nothing else to do but hop back in the farm and start working towards the next milestone. But man, 2 bill here, we only need about another 300 mil. And uh, here we are again. We managed to get a little bit more carrot farming in, but unfortunately it is time to snooze for me again. We do have Lotsy going crazy on the sugar cane he makes about 150 mil a day like just look at this man go yes sir before i hop off though i will claim a few tickets which we can then throw in the bazaar along with a little bit of mutant nether wart now i'll be able to log off here though with over 2 billion actually in the purse balances and bug fixes on skyblock 
Unfortunately, had to head out for a long Memorial Day weekend. But of course, it's nice to be back. It's a mega co-op. We've got eight other people who grinded away. And I think Lotsi specifically finished us off right before the two-week mark. So first off, I guess let's head to the hub. I've got two bill in my purse. And in the bazaar, there's another 150 plus mil. Absolutely beautiful stuff. And even a few items that haven't even sold yet. So we'll throw them back up. And of course, grab everything else. 90 mil here. This is just Dragoon holding some money for us. Because uh, I guess the bank is probably full. And yes, it is packed. Claim that goodness, of course. There were actually a few more items on the island, so we'll go for another 14, 15 mil from there. Then Lotsi messaged me. He's got another 150 mil-ish on his purse. So with that, we're looking at 2.5 billion coins plus. I think we're good, but back to the auction house real quick. We'll go ahead and search for the hype. They did literally just release an update yesterday that increases the chances for handles and for all the scrolls. So I'm really hoping the price has dropped even further. Oh yeah. Already we're seeing a wither impact for under two bill. That's kind of huge. We're way over. Our purse is looking crazy. Can't do this without them though. So of course, with the co-op going from absolutely nothing to 2.5 billion coins plus i think we're about ready to purchase this thing let's just go get the lads to finish it all together and so here we are first off lotsy that extra money i hear you have mm -hmm. let's see how high we can get this purse 250 mil so we passed 2.6 billion coins in two weeks of grinding all the way from nothing on the garden now before we buy this hype I want to go ahead and give the correct recognition. So let's go ahead and head into collections. I went ahead and took carrots, got 70 million collected there. Might sound like a lot, but everybody else went even crazier. Dom's at 90 mil cocoa beans. Lotsy's at 16 mil mushrooms, and that's just from farming something else. Dragoon's at almost 100 mil netherwort. Puffin's just past 100 mil potatoes. Adds at 6 mil wheat. And Lotsy is at 235 million sugarcane actually cracked the group here has been grinding away and we've decided that if this video gets 3,000 likes we will continue on the journey and go all the way to garden 15 and spaceman anybody else have anything to say or should we just go make the purchase ready to get the hype let's go yeah let's do this all right slash hub over here in the auction house hyperion let's see let's see i think we've got our eyes on this 2.13 billion coin Hyperion. It's got some pretty decent enchants, some stars, and here we go. Purchase made. That's wild. Went from nothing in our inventory to this item right here. I, I just, good, good stuff, guys. Good stuff. With this big purchase, I will announce that I've just dropped some new Bad Lion cosmetics. We've got this tiger cape on me right now. There's this mask as well to go with it. And of course, most importantly, the Itchy Boy Chips Ahoy bandana. So I mean, biggest shout out ever to the people on the co-op who helped grind. You can check them all out in the description below. The craziest part to me here also is that we have an extra 500 mil in my purse right now. So we got some money to play with here for this next part. If you guys get 3000 likes, that is. Anyway, I hope you all really enjoyed this series because I know we had a blast making it. And I will see you all in the next one. Adios and good. Bye.